Hello everyone, Jamie Polito here and I'm bringing you about 11 and a half minutes of a game that was released today on May 26, 2017 called Rhyme. Oh, wait, hi Stephen. That was pretty important. I wanted to get that in the video. So Rhyme is a um, exploration puzzle game in the same vein as The Witness. Um, you'll notice the graphics are very similar to Breath of the Wild. Uh, I think it's a beautiful art style and I'm very excited to see it here in this game. There is a day-night cycle in Rhyme which will come towards the end of the video which really shows off what this game can put out. Um, I have do not even have the graphics set all the way to max. I wanted to get as close to 60 frames per second as possible on my PC so I have uh, I have it pretty tweaked up but not all the way maxed out and it still looks really really good um, right there I'm leaving the beach area and heading into the main puzzle area and right there you just might have heard my dog Jennifer jumping up behind me George is in here as well so there's probably going to be some panting as is typical of my videos now a little bit of a confession this is my second run through through this first area um, if you listen to any of my other videos you know that this is now my second attempt at uh, editing and creating my own play video without the assistance of Steve and so the first one I did I botched it the frame rate was terrible the video was jerky uh, I found my first waypoint there are these blue beacons that lead you to waypoints that are uh, essential to unlocking the puzzle in the first area. But anyway, my first video was absolutely awful and not worth putting up on YouTube. The second video is going to be much shorter than the first one. Uh, this brings me to one of my biggest concerns so far that I have with this game. While beautiful, with excellent sound, wonderful uh, orchestral music in the background. Uh, in this first tutorial area, granted, the puzzle is relatively simplistic. I just, by walking through and not actually trying to beat the first puzzle, I beat it on my first try. I was trying to get some gameplay footage of the uh, of of the uh, different sites of this area without spoiling too much of the gameplay, and it turns out I beat the first puzzle just by walking on through. I uh, stumbled up here. It told me to hit the button. I did. I grabbed some fruit, and I was just walking around. It didn't seem to slow my character down any. And so, you know, as any good RPG or will do, you grab an item, and if it's not going to screw you up. You run with it so then I noticed this pig was following me and I just didn't want to give it my fruit turned into this path here and this fella popped it out of my hands and they started eating well obviously that guy must be the guardian of this waypoint of the main puzzle of this first area and this was a little mini puzzle where I guess it's bring the piggy some fruit and so I did uh, which brings me to this new shooting off this particle physics thing over to the main point and then it became clear well I have to go to the blue waypoints and trigger those shrines for lack of a better word to send the sparkle magic over to the center point to unlock a door and uh, that was whenever I first became concerned that these puzzles might be a little overly simplistic but again I have not played past this first area and as in all games this is the tutorial learn your way around learn how the game works so hopefully it gets a little more a uh, little a little tougher but I don't have I feel that it is not gonna oh nice jump but I feel that it is not gonna be near the same level as the witness but that I mean that game had some pretty intimidating puzzles and some that I had to sit down with pen and paper uh, this is just my little fella with a sweet tan running around and uh, stumbling and rumbling and trying to get to waypoints right now which you know very possibly is not the way the rest of the game is going to be. I don't like uh, putting spoilers in my gameplay video and I like you to see what what everybody's going to see right from the beginning of the game because of course that I feel is a good litmus test for what the rest of the game is going to be like. Uh, if you can hear over my chattering uh, 
<laughs> the, the soundtrack is uh, very reminiscent of uh, Braveheart. So, you know, uh, the, the highs and lows, especially after you hit the uh, the waypoints in the puzzle. Swimming underwater, it said hit B, I hit B, I dive down, and all of a sudden I'm in a little mini lagoon, which is how you get to the next area. Uh, but, you know, they might have some explaining to do to, to the Braveheart producers, but at least it seems that they were inspired by that. Or I could just be making that up and putting my own assumptions in there. Um, so, yeah, found another waypoint, and if you noticed earlier, there was somebody that looked very strongly of uh, the sort of resemblance of one of the red caped characters from the journey standing up on a rock and you get close and you can't get to them and then they disappear and now we're running to the final waypoint which actually so this t little video turned into a tutorial on how to beat the first area puzzle which oh thanks Jennifer which uh was not intentional by any means but uh yeah so if you get lost just follow along uh there are some collectibles that i have not shown in this video there's one on the beach whenever you spawn if you, instead of heading if you're facing the water instead of facing turning right to the main area if you turn left uh there's a little there's a little collectible there's many many collectibles in this game i mentioned one i'm not going to mention any others that one's pretty obvious you know you turn it wants you to go right you turn left and there's going to be something there you know anybody that uh, plays any rpgs is going to find that one um there are some other little elements though which uh, i am not going to get into because i want you to find those on your own uh, and probably several in the first area that I haven't even found and there's one I don't even understand what uh, what I'm supposed to be doing with it but you will see it in a little bit um, so some cliff jumping uh, a little cliff hopping doing well on the first one I, I didn't quite get a feel for how he moves and so I was hurling him off my little fella off cliffs left and right the controls respond fairly well, pretty well for, you know, he's a, oh, there's, there's Journey again, um, and chasing after him or her, and nowhere to be seen, but, so you're controlling a little boy who jumps around, who has, uh, three skills, he can, he can roll, he can jump, he can shout, that's how I'm activating all these shrines, is I hit the shout button and uh showing off the beautiful sunset day night cycle kicking in it's getting dusk <laughs> a little witching hour is upon us but uh yeah it's um it's pretty fantastic there you go some more some of those good good graphics and um uh i'm sure it's youtube's not going to do it justice but it is very pretty the puzzle is now complete for this main area The gameplay. Okay, he snags it. It is not as responsive. You, this this kid is not Geralt of Rivia, so don't expect some sweet combos and anything like that. And actually, so far, I mean, I've run up to the pigs and I shout at them in the face and go up to the crabs and I squat on them. Nothing happens. So I think the only danger is falling off cliffs. And then what happens when you fall off a cliff? You respawn two or three seconds from where you were the moment you fell off. So, not a lot of danger in this game as well. This is not one that's going to get your, your blood plump, pumping. Probably a little bit closer to Flower in that you're um, in it more for the experience and the art. Uh, it does have, with the, with the music, a uh, more melancholic... Okay, here's one another... I have no idea. I go up to it and I hum... Do I go back and hum at it a second time? I think I do. Yeah, so that happens. I hum at it and then it sparkles. I don't know. Anyway, um, it's, uh, it kind of hits you in the feels with the melancholy, with the, with the uh, soundtrack. You're alone. You're a little fella. You're trying to solve puzzles and there's animal, at least in this one, there's uh, uh, animal friends running around. you got to go up and well, actually, you just kind of walk up and ignore them until a moment later on in the game when you're following one around. But it's definitely not a 
they so far at this point don't play a major component. It is very pretty though. The night sky is pretty gorgeous. Watching the particles flit up into the air from the pylon, it's really nice. Passing a little muskrat fellow on the left there. I don't know what the heck that was. Maybe it was a little rabbit, beaver. That looks like my dog Jennifer. Jennifer is black with white on her chest, and this fox is brown with white on its chest. The same shape. Pretty cute. So, obviously, I'm supposed to follow Jennifer, as I'm going to call it a little fox from now on. And if I end up doing a uh, review, then I'm just going to call that thing Jennifer, because why not? Still don't know why the game is called Rhyme, R-I-M-E, some Mariner throwback, I don't know. Shout at the little baby statue, flying ball is a thing, a little face appears on the wall. Apparently I was out of breath from that mighty shout, meh. And, um, yeah, following on through. And I'll be quiet for a little bit uh, so you can enjoy the sound. Thank you so much for viewing my video give it a like if you like it and um, yeah and thank you so much <laughs>